Hi everyone, welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be showing you how to run Colin McRae at a full 4K resolution and you'll be able to run that on a modern system. Uh, so right off the bat, the first thing you're going to need obviously is to have the game. So if you have the game, there is step one. If you don't, uh, you can either buy it, try and find it somewhere online. But you will need the Colin McRae PC version 1.5. If you have one of the older you know versions just download the patches and we're going to show you how to get that set up from scratch so first thing you're going to do is once you have that game just go ahead and mount it or put it in your cd drive you're going to right click on the uh, setup run as administrator you're going to pick the location to where you're going to install the game and on these you want to tell it no because you're not going to need that so I already have a pre-location here already set up, so I'm going to type that in here. And you want to make sure you have a full disregard this recommended you're going to install it full now on this one what worked for me was the ATA Rage 2 because that's going to be bypassed anyway with uh, one of the plugins so you can go ahead and click on that and get that installed alright when that is installed successfully you'll see this window you can go ahead and you know, ignore this window here, click finish, and you should have all the uh, this information on there. You're going to go maneuver to where the game is installed. Okay, now that that step is done, try and have two windows, one on the left with the uh, patches that we're going to need, and then the game install folder on your right. So this is going to be pretty simple. First thing we're going to do is, uh, I'll put the link in the video for you, is you're going to download DG voodoo you're going to copy those files from that folder paste that in your game folder once you have that done go into the ms folder x86 folder copy and paste those into your folder once that's done you can basically get rid of these folders here just go ahead and delete those then you're going to go back into your folder that has the patches. Now this step may or may not be necessary depending if you already have the game at 1.5, you know, patched to that version, you're not going to need to do this. If you do have 1.4 or the older one, you will need to uh, do the patch. So basically just go ahead into one of the folders here. Now I believe my version is the US version. So we're going to go in here. Or let's just try this one because I think it might be this one. So we'll see here in a second. And as you can see, it knows the location. So you're going to tell it to patch it, this location here. You're going to tell it OK. And as you can see, the screen refreshed over here, letting you know that it did put some files in there. So once that's completed, hit OK. Now this used to be a little bit more difficult. They did come out with a patch last year that basically fixes the errors that were present in the menu where the colors would come out kind of pastel. It wouldn't affect the gameplay, but, but it was kind of annoying the way the, uh, the menu looked. So this patch here is very good for that because it does fix the menu and it will also install an OCD so you don't have to worry about loading the CD. So this part here, what you're going to do, once you click on the folder that you extracted with this patch, you're going to take the rally execute, you're going to copy that, paste it exactly where it says here, put rally execute here, open that folder, you're going to paste it. That might have been in there from a previous install that I did, but just go ahead and paste that file in there. Once that is done, you're going to go ahead and click on the appropriate bat file. Once it's done correctly, you're going to see it generate a file inside this folder here. 
so I believe that was the European version so go ahead and click patch you want to do that as an administrator preferably so let's try that again it looks like it worked but just for safety sake run as administrator or apparently it did not need to be run as administrator there you go so yeah just run it regular and there's your file once this is done you're gonna take this file put it back in your game folder you're gonna delete the original rally execute so delete that you're gonna rename this to rally.exe which is the previous name of the file that was in there now your game should be working fine so what we're gonna do is now we're gonna open up this program here now on this this is gonna be the part where you have to put the settings more or less to match because out of all the sequences that I tried this one here is the one that worked for me it may be a little bit different for you but as far as getting it to work for me uh, I'm gonna show you how I did it on mine so you want to force vsync you want to disable the watermark you want to make sure this is on here fast video if I didn't click on that the window shows up as completely white so make sure you got force vsync fast video the memory I believe was set to 128 but that is through a different card for me what worked was the 5700 so I, that's the video card that I chose 5700 128 and then here I was able to go as high as 4096 by 2160 this will vary depending on how uh, fast your computer is so once these settings are completely done here to match the screen we're gonna go click apply and now we want to go into general now once again what worked for me here was this setting here anything other than this the game would crash so for me it worked as 3d 11 feature 10 and then on here if you want to do like the scan lines you can pick this one here so we're going to stretch it so it um, you know looks widescreen so we got that chose we're going to go ahead and hit apply now with this program it can be a little bit glitchy sometimes you can put the settings and they will not show up so you want to go back in here and make sure that that, that it did stick sometimes for me it'll default it'll put this back to zero but as you can see this time it did stick so it looks like it's all good to go so we can now give this a test run and hopefully it will work so you want to launch it through this executable up here so let's give it a shot it may take a couple of seconds to load here we go so far so good And there we go now if you've ever done this before with the original patches uh, you'll probably remember this screen the colors were like you know like a pastel color in a lot of the places and it did not look correct so as you can see it's working as it should be as far as the colors so once this is done you want to go into your options uh, settings to make the game look as good as possible you want to go to here to detail gonna put high on here as many as the red dots as you can on that one same thing with the draw distance resolution on the car looks like it won't go past low weather effects you want on car effects uh, will also not work so click OK and then on here you want to make sure that this motion smoothness is off and I'm gonna go ahead and pick Nvidia real quick as I think that one gave us a little bit more options as far as the display detail here so yeah so that one will let you pick these so you want to go back in there and make sure you have the Nvidia set to here so it's going to look like this, you're going to hit OK. Once you launch the game, you should be 
able to view it in that uh, 4K aspect. So we'll do a time trial here. And once again, like if you use the patch before, you will remember that this did not display properly, but it does now. There you go, launch the game. guys i hope you enjoyed this video this game is definitely a flashback and this is one of those that was uh really unplayable for a long time so it would not run on modern computers but this uh, setup here should allow you to run the game uh hopefully you guys can make use of this you guys have a good one and we will see you on the next video